okay, so um, I thought I would show you the rest of the books that I got over like the Christmas holiday period. Um, most of these are presents, some of them I bought for myself because I have issues. Okay, so um, the first one is actually part, it was part of my dad's, uh, my dad got for me for Christmas, and it is um, La Censura de Hemingway in España. And so I'm really excited. It's um, The Censorship of Hemingway in Spain, and it's um, published, I guess, by the University of Salamanca, which is really fun because I went, actually took um, a few courses there over the summer of 2008 um, before I transferred to my university. So it was just like for fun, for like cultural experience, I guess, and um, to practice my Spanish. And it's really cool because the first page is signed by the author. Um, there is this like cut out. I think it had the university seal on it, which is a little disappointing. I might like add a piece of paper and like uh, like tape it in there because I don't like that. So I might like take a piece of colored paper and just like put it on the back. But I'm really excited about that. Like super, super cool. Um, and I'll be able to practice my Spanish. It, it might take a long time for me to read this though because I'm not very good at reading in Spanish. Um, and then these next books are presents that my roommate got for me. They're so beautiful. She got me the these, all, all of all four of them. I'm so excited. So um, there's A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett, Burn, Burnett, I think. And then um, Heidi by Joanna Speary. Oops, awkward. Um, <laughs> Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, which is really big. I mean, I guess these are shorter books, but I'm surprised at how gigantic this is. So, yeah. And then lastly, Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. Um, I haven't read any of these. I just adore these books. They're super, super cute. Um, they're Puffin and Bloom edition editions, I guess. So she got me those for Christmas, and then she also got me these ones for my birthday, because my birthday was December 28th, so, you know. <laughs> um, she got me the Puff and Chalk, Puff and Chalk books. So there's Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren, Lindgren? I'm not sure. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Black Beauty by Anna Sewall, Sewall? I'm not sure. Peter Pan by um, J.M. Barry, The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, Baum, and then A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So um, of these, the only one that I've read is Adventures in, um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, I'm super excited to read all of these. I'm so excited. They're also really cute. She's, she's the sweetest. They're so... Uh, so sweet. And then um, my boyfriend got me for Christmas. I actually got this the same night that I did the other Christmas haul, but I set it aside because I was afraid to break it because it's so delicate. Uh, it's super thin. I don't know what, I don't know. There's this beautiful like emblem on the front. It's USDT. And this is one of Kurt Vonnegut's short stories. My, my boyfriend is seriously, he's the best. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I threw away the... Th oh, here it is. It says it's 2BRO2B. I don't... Or 0. I'm not sure. And then it's illustrated by Jesse Balmer, which is actually one of Jake's friends. So, um... I'm just, like, so worried because I feel like it's very delicately bound and I don't want to break it. But, um, so... It's just one of his short stories. Let me see if I can find an illustration. Maybe... So I'm like super excited about this. It's just, it's very like thin and delicate. Like I don't want to accidentally snap it or anything. But I'm very, very excited about that. And then my mom got me two books. She got me Grain Brain, um, The Surprising Truth About Wheat, Carbs, and Sugar, Your Brain's Silent Killers. So this is very interesting. Hopefully, I already picked my nonfiction for this month. Hopefully I'll get to this soon. I read um, Salt, Sugar, Fat, and I found that very interesting. So I guess this is more like how those things affect you as opposed to how the industry uses them. And then she also got me, because my mom is adorable, um, your first year as a nurse. I'm in nursing school and I'm graduating in May. So um, hopefully I'll read this before I graduate. 
but it's making the transition from total novice to successful professional. She's so cute. So those are all the books that I was gifted left over that I hadn't shown you, I think. So then um, these are the books I bought for myself. Oh, no, wait. I have one more that Jake bought for me, but he just bought it for me recently. <laughs> we bought each other books at the bookstore. Um, he got me Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Um, I definitely picked it, so he just was my sugar daddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super excited to um, get to this also. Um, I've heard people talk very good things about it. We both were laughing because when we were kids, like he definitely said that when he was a kid he read this book, and he does not remember it being this long, so I assume it was like an abridged version or something. Abridged. Is that the right word? A smaller version. I think it's a British. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Um, and then um, I purchased a few books that are like list type books. So um, I got the top 10, um, which I saw someone post. I don't know what her name is, but I'll post the link to her, her channel. And she talked about this. Um, and I'm like really excited about it because it's basically just a book of lists which is the best and then also um this book list by nancy pearl i had um gotten a, like an like like a couple of the lists online but i wanted to have the book so she goes through and each chapter is kind of like um if you're in the mood for this if that makes sense let me see if i can find an example so chiclet um gay and lesbian fiction um and then she has a couple um, like montana so they're just like different like genres or different things about which you might want to read and then she puts a few of the books that she's that she recommends for that so she came out with that and then um i also got book lust to go so this one is like for travelers recommended reading for travelers vagabonds and dreamers which i think is really cute it has a little map up here I, they're, they're very similar and when I first opened it I got like really nervous I thought I got the same book twice but it's not <laughs> um, so this is the same except each book is different so Japanese Journeys um, Iceland so I'm really really excited to read this and then um, I went to Barnes and Noble and they had that stupid buy to get the third free thing that literally gets me every single time if I go into that bookstore and they have a buy to get the third free I'm buying books and I had a Barnes and Noble membership. It expired. I don't know if I'm gonna redo it because I want to start buying like um from more like local bookstores. Oh, it reminds me I got this at Politics and Prose bookstore, which I'm really excited about. It's the first book that I have from Politics and Prose, which is like a big bookstore here in um Washington, DC. So I got um three books. I got Ready Player One, which I've heard everyone talk about on BookTube and everyone seems to really enjoy it, so I'm excited to read that. And then I got um, Cormac McCarthy's The Road. I own Blood Meridian. I haven't read it yet. So now I own two by him, and I haven't read him at all. And I think, awkward. Could Cormac be a girl's name? I think it's a dude. <laughs> this is uncomfortable now. I'm sorry, guys. And then um, the only reason that I actually did this, even though I said I always do it, the really big reason was because I wanted this book so badly. This is Zealot by Reza Aslan. I love him. I don't know if you've seen interviews that he's done, but he is seriously brilliant and like very biting and doesn't take crap from anyone. He is a genius and I'm really, really excited to read this. This is about Jesus, um, the life and times of Jesus of Nazareth. It says on the cover and I'm just like super stoked. Um, I'm not a religious person. I haven't, I, I would like to read the Bible. I haven't read it. Um, but I'm just curious and he is great. He has like a PhD in religious studies and stuff and he like has studied Christianity and all kinds of religion. He's, he's just a genius. So I wonder if it says what his, um, his like PhD is in exactly. I'm sure it does somewhere, but anyways, I'm really excited to read that. And then, um, lastly, sorry guys, I'm not sick. I think it's allergies. <laughs> While my friends were here, we did, uh, like, a D.C. thing. Like, we went and walked everywhere, you know, like the National Mall. And so we ended up at the Lincoln Memorial. And so there's a bookstore, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get a book about Lincoln. Um, I got With Malice Toward None, a biography of Abraham Lincoln. I didn't, like, do any research, so I don't know if this is the best 
Lincoln biography, but it's the one that I purchased. And I'm really excited because um, I don't know if you know, but like at all national parks, they have this little, I bought the passport, like a little passport. So you stamp all the parks that you've been to. And um, I had them stamp, which I think honestly all bookstores should do. They stamped, they stamped it upside down, which I actually kind of love because it makes it more not real, but it's, it's the cumin. So it just has the Lincoln Memorial on the date that I purchased the book. Um, I had done this also at the Claire Barton. I went to the Claire Barton Museum and I got a Claire Barton biography and had them stamp the inside with the Claire Barton stamp as well. Um, but I think all bookstores should do that. The Henry Miller Library, um, which is a bookstore in Big Sur, California, they have a little stamp so you can stamp the inside of your book from like the place that you purchased it and I'm gonna start literally emailing all these bookstores to do it because it's so amazing like being like oh I got this book here and so you know especially if you buy books at bookstores like while you're traveling I think it's really like a cute little memento or something to have but anyways those are the rest of my books it's a crap load oh gosh you guys I may have like overdone it a little bit I need to stop buying books for now <laughs> Uh, let me know if you've read any of these, what you think. Um, I'm really excited to get to all of them. Not this month, <laughs> but eventually. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, and I just hit 100 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, I'm so excited. That's the best. Like, I'm surprised, but really excited. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't subscribed and you like my videos, please subscribe, um, comment. I love responding to comments and having comments if I haven't been it's because like I was drunk like the last two weeks so um you know when you do that it's kind of like opening a message while you've been drinking or listen to voicemail sometimes you forget to respond to it but I feel like I have um so anyways yeah thank you so much hope you're having a lovely day again I always say that but I always mean it <laughs> bye